Hello IT Pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is Alvin Drill and in this video I'll be upgrading the BIOS version for this HP ProBook 640. So I have done many videos in the past where we use a USB. If you are interested in that, I have many models, many manufacturers. You can check in the playlist on the top right of this screen. But for this one, we are not going to use a USB. We don't care if it's Windows or Linux. So we're going to do it directly from the HP website. So we're going to update it from using the internet. So I'm going to show you the laptop around. And this is how it looks, regular um, a standard laptop, <laughs> HP laptop. So also I have last week, in the last video I have troubleshoot some issues with this screen. So if you want to check that, I'm going to leave the link in the description below for that video. Now, I'm going to turn it on, as you can see there, and I'm going to start pressing Escape to access the system menu. Allow me to do a close-up, and I'm going to press F10, BIOS Setup. As you can see there, this is the menu, and from there you have to go to Update System BIOS. So you click on it, and we can see a lot of information. So on the top, you can see that uh, update system BIOS, current system BIOS version is 1.32 that came out in 2015. So six years ago, because I'm recording this in 2021. So there has to be an update, right? So the other thing you have to check is that your um, laptop, your desktop computer has this uh, option, allow BIOS update using a network. If you don't have it, you won't be able to do to proceed with this video. You have to check one of my videos in the playlist in the top right of this screen. But if you have it, you have to check the, the mark and we are going to use a network cable. You cannot do this uh, using Wi-Fi. It has to be a physical connection, okay? It cannot be done through Wi-Fi. It has to be a physical connection. So you have to check the box over there and now we are going to connect, as you can see it there. I have connected my network cable to my laptop, to this model. So once you have done that, you have to click on checkhp.com for BIOS update. So of course, uh, this is connected to my router directly, so we have internet access. So then we're going to click on it and we're going to see this message. A BIOS update is pending, 1.32. Windows BitLocker drive encryption might be enabled. So if you don't know what BitLocker is, it's a software from Microsoft that encrypts your hard drive. So before doing any update using this process or the USB that I've been talking about, uh, you have to disable, the, disable BitLocker upgrade the BIOS version and then enable BitLocker one more time. So we are not doing this in this video because I have already done it. If you never use BitLocker, you don't need this part, you just forget about it. But if you have, you have to disable it first. Again, that process is in the video in the top right of this screen. So now, uh, if you don't have it or you have disabled it, you have to press 0716 and then press enter on the, on the keyboard on your laptop or desktop computer. So I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do that right now. So you just have to press uh, 07116 and then enter. It's going to be a different code anytime, every time. So now it says a BIOS update from HP, current BIOS version, the BIOS update process will proceed. So you just wait or press the OK. Um, BIOS update, uh, current BIOS version 1.32, and it's going to, it's, it's getting an IP address and it's trying to connect to the internet and download the update. So update version 1.43, that's the newest. So that's great, we have a new version. And this is an important update and you just have to click in update to 1.43. So you click on it and the process is going to start. So once we start the process, uh, we make sure that you're connected to, to a reliable source of power and all that, okay? So here is the process. As you can imagine, it's sped up, so you don't have to wait the actual time that it took. It was around three minutes, uh, four minutes, all this first part. So we just you just have to wait. And then it comes to this screen. BIOS update from HP, the current version, and the new version, the update, 1.43. So you have to reboot it. You have to click on that. When you're ready, you rebooted it. And after that, you just have to wait. In this case, um, uh, as you can see, the computer is turning on and turning it off. You don't have to press anything here. The computer is going to do everything by itself. But I, I was just pressing escape. You don't have to do it. 
okay <laughs> the upgrade is just going to start so as you can see there the upgrade is starting again this is this is another um, three minutes four minutes for all this so this video is sped up one more time for you so while we are waiting for that this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet so uh, as you can see we are still waiting for the upgrade again the video is sped up so you, you don't have to wait all the time so in total it's around i don't know eight minutes so bios update current bios version is 1.43 rebooting uh, rebooting system to complete the update so you just have to click on reboot now or reboot now or you just wait until the time runs out so as you can see here i'm pressing the escape button to have access to the system menu and from here we can press f10 allow me to do a close-up i press f10 and then from here we are in the menu now we are i'm going to select again update system bios so as you can see there allow me to do a close-up current system bios version is 1.43 so the update has been successful so from here we can just uh, press escape and we can continue booting uh, windows or linux or any other operating system that you may have so that's all i wanted to show you in this video guys how to upgrade the bios version on an hp laptop or desktop computer directly from the internet directly from the um, hp website so thank you very much for watching if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe if you have any other comment or questions leave them in the comment section below and as always i'll see you in the next video